Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to give a little bit of update journal crisis, not really. Uh, so as you know, if you know, um, I've been struggling with organizing my life. And so originally what I had was this week's, which was in the personal Emma, which I decided to sell as well. I'm doing a big spring cleaning of everything. Um, and in this, it's mostly um, school stuff. Now, I still use this, but now this basically stays open on my desk and I just look at all the stuff. Um, I knew of Lindsay's Scribble, but I rediscovered her channel and I realized that I'm probably the only one. I already know what I'm going to get next year <laughs> for my Hovenichi. But I really like how she uses her Mega, which I've never had as a bullet journal. I really like the idea of having everything in one spot. So what I did for now is I'm using the original, the one that I've been using, and that's like my planner. But in the back to get me started and to uh, see how I like it and to see if I can keep up with it and if it it works and everything, I got one of those supplements and I think I posted no I posted on my Instagram a little video of me just putting this paper and the Dolce Vita tape and honestly I have been loving it I'm still figuring it out um, and I've been dabbling with like where to put the things and how to organize it because it has to be kind of aesthetically pleasing but I just want it to be very um, um, list uh, kind of like the way she does it this is not the pretty part and I love the idea of having this planner where in the monthly there's everything is in the monthly really but it's kind of disorganized it's kind of where I go to to remember what I did that day and everything but I won't put like my homework in there or what I need to do for that day. Um, in the week section, it's usually some main things that I have to do and then uh, more events and appointments and stuff like that. And then as you know, I usually end up um, drawing afterwards um, throughout the page and that kind of becomes a slash illustrated planner kind of thing. It's a memory keeping as well. The idea of having everything in this planner and having the back pages be my to-do list and everything is wonderful and I do love I've done the bullet journal met method before but I got really caught up in like trying to make it pretty and the cover page and da -da, and making the weeks I do love that like I do it in the morning I know she says she does it in the evening in the morning I wake up I put the date on and I go through everything I need to do, whatever thoughts I have, you know, I already have like a list of things I wanted to do, then I updated it. So I've been really enjoying this. Of course, I'm a sucker too. I was like, oh my gosh, I love her pilot vanishing point. I can't spend $156 on a fountain pen. I wish I could, I just can't. It just doesn't seem right. So I've used my pilot, which is great. And I do enjoy um, using it. Although I think I prefer a lighter ink than a black. I might do a light gray, um, dark gray or something like that. It just seems a little too, but those are like details that you probably understand. So next year, I already know what I'm gonna do next year. I will still have my Hobonichi for self-care. I will repurchase one that's just, it's my gratitude journal, self-care. Um, I do keep track of a lot of these things in many places, but I really like the gratitude aspect. I do some like the full moon and the new moon kind of stuff, which happy full moon everyone. Um, and I have a lot of, this is all very personal journaling. I will repurchase one like that and then I will purchase a mega. I already got the cover. It's going to be the same type of cover, just uh, I think I got the orange brown or something, um, just to change it up. And that way I have this one and the other one, which will make the amount of weeks cover I have three because I'm getting rid of all the other ones. Um, this one, The Thinking of You, I love it. It's great. Um, I just write. It's all like more of like, I took a positive side class and self-awareness, kind of um, unpacking your day and the feelings you've had. And it it's a self-reflection moment. And I do like it, I do it at night and it's great, but I don't think I would repurchase it. I could be doing this in my journal, which is the, 
what is it the paper mood and this is the cover I designed with the Le Cow. He put the Le Cow stamp, but it's also the right. And I love, love this cover. I've, yeah, I just, um, I love the journaling, but I haven't been journaling that much because what am I putting in there? If I'm putting my self reflection and packing my day here, I'm putting my gratitude here, there's not much left to write in there. And so I do use it once in a while. I have a lot of thoughts, and so I'll put them in there because that's how I write anyway. It's not very linear the way I write is whatever stream of consciousness so that i don't think i would repurchase the thinking of you planner although i do love it it's a beautiful planner um if i used it as a planner i think i would find more utility if i were more of a collage person i see what people do with them and it's so pretty and i just it doesn't come naturally to me so it doesn't work and i will always have my illustrated um, journal which i have also in the Lorite cover i absolutely love this cover it's all patina mm. A little cover porn here and then next year I repurchase the five year I'm so excited am I like crazy it's April and I'm thinking about what I'm gonna order in September take it easy relax but so that's the the new thoughts I still use the paper mate for the monthly and my Hobonichi I was thinking oh should I just do it like really cleanly so you can see everything I don't know I may at some point I may do a month where I'll just write uh, with the same fountain pen across the board. My favorite fountain pen lately is this one and I'm really mad at myself, the Kaweco Sport, because I love the ink in there and I do not know what it is. And uh, yeah, I wish I did. So I don't know if I added ink in there. I don't know. It's a beautiful, beautiful ink. It's almost like a green it looks like. It looks great to me when I write, but it's very uh, extra fine nib, so maybe that's why. So that's been like my, I love this one. Um, so I'm trying to use the other ones too, because this one gets used daily in here. But this stays on my desk anyways. And then I, these are already, I've, I've been using them everywhere. I love, this is such a good deal. I don't think I showed in the video how many different designs you get per roll. I mean, hold on, we started at the, uh, what is it, Flower Girl. We have yet to find the Flower Girl again. Here she, here she is with the camera. This is how many designs you get in one. And I got three washi. I did purchase two more and then I'll have all of them and then I'm, I'm good forever because, you know, that's that's it but i just love having um these girls like on the side of my journal when i write i don't know it's just that of a little bit of washi a little bit of like glitter on the side and it looks great now another thing that you're going to see pop up in my youtube channel and i'm going to film it in a second and watch it even if you're not interested just watch it for the opening i had my son redo an, a little animation and it is hilarious but i wanted to do a mini series on face tools because I'm really into it and this channel is about what I'm interested in. I really love using all these tools. Um, I actually got sent um, by Demi, Demi Nuage a tool like a few months ago which I was like yeah because that's totally my kind of stuff like my friends know I'm kind of obsessed with creams and that um, but I have a few now of these and I'm going to do a mini series it's going to be like I think five weeks maybe six and each week I'll just go over a tool really fast and just give my opinion my very non-expert non-paid non-sponsored opinion <laughs> but if you're curious what I think about those and I use them quite a lot all of them then watch it if you're not just watch the intro animation because it's funny so that's that um yeah I yeah I've been obsessively watching Lindsay Scribble to figure out this like today she posted the keys and so I kind of copy them and put them in there for the bullet journal and I'm still again trying to figure out my routine and my um, layouts and everything but right now the beauty is I don't have a layout so I just put everything I need to do and uh, it's quite a bit lately so this has been great and I found my word of the year which everybody finds in January I found it in April uh, 
consistent. <laughs> That's what I need to be. So on that note, I hope everybody's having a great day, great weekend, happy full moon, happy birthday if it's your birthday. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Oh, if you like, I never say it. Like and subscribe if you like this channel. Thanks. Bye bye.